my name is Alejandro with GSC and today we're going to take a look at best ways of applying decals to both your part models and your assembly models. When applying decals there's various, various mapping settings that help you apply your decal to either face, uh, bodies, or even surfaces. So in today's video we're going to take a look at these options and the best ones to choose for specific scenarios. So if you look at the slide here, these, after doing several experiments, these are the best options uh, that I found work best when applying decals. Uh, you always want to select the part level option if uh, whether you're in a, if you're in an assembly. Uh, if you're in a part model, you always want to select the face option. And the best overall option that seems to work best with various types of surfaces or faces uh, is going to be the label option. Uh, if, I, if I was to rank the best mapping options, it's going to be label and projection. Projection works very well when you're trying to place a decal on a flat face. For non-flat faces, the best option I would say is going to be label. And that's because if you use a cylindrical mapping setting uh, on a cylindrical surface or face, uh, you tend to see a super compressed image of the label on the opposite side. Uh, when you use projection mapping, if you don't use the face option, you will see uh, a very compressed image as well, or actually you will see a mirrored image on the opposite side of your part or body. So overall, uh, always select part level, face option, and the two best mapping settings are going to be label or projection, depending on whether you're on a flat face or a uh, non-flat face. So if we look at our full grow assembly here, we're going to apply some decals individually to some of the part files. So I'll first open up the grow cover. In order to apply my decal, I can simply go to my appearances tab. And you can see here I have some default decals that I'll use. You also can add custom decals if you want to, but in this case, we're just going to use some of the de default decals. So I'm going to drag and drop this warning onto a flat face. And under mapping, you can see that the default option was to select a face. And as far as the mapping settings, it defaulted to label. Now this would be the ideal options. You can actually choose a different option. Let's just say instead of applying to the face, you can apply it to surfaces, to bodies, to features. And then here, obviously, that top option is you can apply it to a specific face. And as I stated before, that is the best option. If I uncheck these and I only leave the, the body option on, I can actually apply the decal to the body itself. And here I can reduce the size. Now one issue you'll see is that if I flip it over, you'll see a mirrored version of that decal on the opposite side. And a lot of times I don't want this. And that is why you always want to pick that face option. If I pick the face option, and you can see which option is selected because it's the one that's actually grayed out. So we'll go ahead and pick the label option for consistency, and you'll notice that the decal does not appear on the opposite side, which is what we want. So as you can see, with the label option and face option selected, I don't get a mirrored image on the opposite side of my part. With the projection option, it's the same thing. I don't see, um, I don't see a mirror projection on the opposite side. But here you can see it's clearly distorted. Let's make this two. Now, if your part ever comes in slightly crooked like so, make sure 
under projection direction, you choose selected reference. So its relative position is going to be whatever you select. In this case, it's my face. So make sure you define that select the reference option so it comes in correctly. And once again, even with the projection option, um, you don't see that mirrored image on the opposite side. So when applying decals to parts and to flat faces, the projection and label option will work well as long as you apply it to a specific face. Okay, do not apply it to a body or a feature. Next, we're going to apply a decal to a non-flat face. So here I have a propane tank that has cylindrical faces. And I'm going to drag and drop the same decal on my cylindrical face. Now, the default mapping setting is going to be cylindrical, which makes sense. The default axis direction is going to be based on that selected reference, which is OK. Uh, I can easily resize this as well. So let's make this 2 inches. And you can see the decal is a bit distorted, which is not ideal. You also notice that if I turn my part around 180 degrees, you'll see that there's a very compressed decal on the opposite side. and that. I do not want either. So that's why even though it's a cylindrical mapping option you would think is uh, appropriate, I always find it that it's best to choose the label option when it comes to non-flat non faces. And you can see now the decal comes in correctly. The label option essentially is simulating uh, placing a sticker on a surface. And you could easily reposition it with the label option using some of the uh, dialogues in the decal window. Uh, you can easily control the size as well. And you can see you get less distortion than the cylindrical option as well as you don't get that super compressed uh, copy on the opposite side. So for non-flat faces, the label option is an excellent option. And once again, always choose that face option for selected geometry. Next, what if I want to add a decal from my top level assembly? So within my assembly modeling environment, let's go ahead and jump into my grill assembly. And just like before, I'm going to drag and drop a different decal onto uh, my grill cover from within my full grill assembly uh, environment. Uh, notice that the propane tank and the grill cover uh, already have the decals that we added. That's because since we added in the part level environment, they carried over into my top level assembly. Now I'm going to add this decal called Design with SolidWorks right onto my grill cover. And for mapping, you can see that the default option was to add it to the assembly component level. So this decal essentially is only going to exist in our assembly model. For mapping settings, we only have three options now. We have projection, spherical, and cylindrical. We do not have the label option within our assembly environment. So we'll leave it at projection. For projection direction right now, it's uh, going to be projected normal to the screen. Uh, so whatever my view orientation currently is. Uh, typically, you never want that. So I'm going to pick selected reference. And so the orientation of my decal should be this top face, which I'll select. And you can see that the label now doesn't look so uh, distorted. From here, I can easily modify the size. I can change the angle. And now my label looks a lot better. If I select OK, 
And let's say I isolate just the grill cover. Notice how the label also appears on the opposite side uh, simply mirrored, which is not what I want. Another issue is that if I open up the grill cover itself, that new decal I added will not show up at the part level. It only exists in the assembly level. So this is why when I add decals, I always want to add it to the part level. As well as I always want to have that face option selected. And you can do this within your assembly environment. So let's go back and let's delete that decal I just added. I'll go ahead and drag and drop it once again. This time on their mapping, instead of selecting apply changes to assembly component level, I'm going to add them to the part level. And for I'm going to clear the current selections. And here, once again, I always want to pick the face option. So I'm going to deselect all other options. So the face option is the one that's grayed out. So that's the one that's selected. And then I'm going to pick this, this uh, flat face on the grill cover. And you can see that my label now comes in correctly. And now I have the ability to add a projection or a label or to map my decal as a projection or a label. Uh, in this case, I'll just choose label. I could use projection if I want to, but like I said, label seems to always work best no matter what type of shape that I have. And then I'll select OK. If I open up the cover, the grill cover itself, you'll see that the decal does not appear on the opposite side. as well as the decal actually exists in the part level, which in most cases is what I want. If I go back to my grill assembly and I hide a whole bunch of my components, you'll see that the decal does not show up on the opposite side. And once again, that is this, that is the result that I wanted. So this is why whenever applying decals, if I go back to my PowerPoint, you always want to select the part level, whether you're in an assembly or uh, have an individual part open. You always want to select the face option and the label option I would say would be the best uh, mapping option. Okay, Projection does work as well. I would say that's the second best mapping option, but you always want to make sure to define the, the reference direction. For flat faces, uh, the projection or label option is viable, but for non-flat faces, you always want to use that label option. Remember, the label option essentially is uh, you're applying a sticker to a surface. And once again, the reason for non-flat faces, why you always want to use a label option is because with cylindrical mapping, uh, you always get uh, a, a decal on the opposite side of your cylindrical surface that is super compressed. And with projection mapping, you will sometimes get a decal on the opposite face of your body or part, uh, specifically if your selective geometry is not a face. So those are the best options uh, I would suggest for applying decals. This has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching.